right, so we're looking at Lesson 7-8, Geometric Sequences. And it says, a geometric sequence with a starting value A and a common ratio R is a sequence of the form A, A times R, A times R squared, and A times R to the third. A recursive definition for the sequence has two parts. So I have A1, which is my initial condition, and A sub 1 is just saying this is the first term, okay, which is the initial condition. <laughs> And then the recursive formula would be um, a sub n equals a sub n minus 1 times r for n um, greater than or equal to 2. So, of course, n cannot equal 1 because then we have a sub 0. And there's no a sub 0. The first term is a sub 1. So that's why we have to start with 2. And then we have to put that in there. Um, and so these are the actual terms. And so an explicit definition for the sequence is a single formula a sub n equals a sub 1 times a sub n minus 1 for n greater than or equal to 0. I mean equal to 1, excuse me. Again, because when I plug in 1 here, I can't, when I plug in 1 here, I can't have um, 0. The least value I can have is 1. Every geometric sequel has a starting value and a common ratio. The starting value and common ratio de define the unique geometric sequence. So let's look at problem one. It says, which of the followings are geometric sequences? So we have 20, 200, 2,000, 20,000, and 200,000. You can probably easily see that you're multiplying by 10. But for those who cannot easily see that, I would take my second term, 200, divided by 20, and I get 10. Then I go here to 2,000, divided by 200, and I get 10 again. Or after I get this 200 divided by 20 and get 10, I would say, well, 200 times 10, does it give me the next one? Yes, it does. Let's multiply by 10 again. Does it give me the next one? Why, yes, it does. When I multiply 10 again, does it give me the next one? Yes, it does. So the common ratio is 10. Let's look at the next one. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So I am increasing by 2. Let's see if we have a common ratio, though. So 4 divided by 2 is 2, right? And so I can see, well, let's say 4 times 2 is, X, is 8 my next term? It's not. So I don't have a common ratio. And as you can see, each time I'm multiplied by a different number. All right, let's look at the next one. Um, we have 5, negative 1, 5, negative 1, 5. So again, I am going to say um, 5 negative divided by 5, and I get negative 1. And so let's say negative 1 times 5, does it give me, um, sorry, it's supposed to be negative 5 times negative 1. It gives me my next term. Then I'm going to say um, 1 times negative 1. It gives me negative 5 again. So my common ratio is negative 1. All right, so it says, let's look at the guide. It says, which of the following are geometric sequences? If the sequence is not geometric, is it um, arithmetic? Well, let's look at the first one. So for 6, I mean 3, 6, 12, 24, 28. Well, first, I would do 6 divided by 3, and I get 2. So here I can write times 2. Then I can do 12 divided by 6. 12 divided by 6. Okay, it looks like it's 2 again. Okay, and you can probably easily see that it is each time, but we'll keep going. 24 divided by 12, I get 2 again. And then 48 divided by 24 is 2. So my R is 2. It is a geometric sequence. All right, let's look at B. Okay, again, I know that... 6 divided by 3 is 2, so that's times 2. 9 divided by 6 is 1.5. So I can stop there. I know it's not geometric. They asked if it was also arithmetic, so we'll see. Let's see. If I do 3 to 6, I have to add 3. If I do 3 to 9, I have to add 3. If I do 9 to 12, I have to add 3. And I do 12 to uh, 15 have to add 3. So it is arithmetic. So my um, increase would be 3. Alright, let's do um, part C. 
All right, let's look at C. So I have, um, and again, I'm going to divide. So I'll do 1 ninth divided by, which is the same thing as times um, 3 over 1, and I get 1 third. Okay, so let's do the next one. We have 1 27 divided by, which is the same thing as um, times 9 over 1, and again, I get 1 third. And then again, I have 1 over 81 divided by, which is the same as times 21 over 27 over 1. And again, I get one third. So this is geometric, and my R is one third every time I got one third. All right, last one. D, I have four over seven over four. So seven divided by four is 1.75. Then I have 11 divided by seven. I get 1.57. I can stop right there. So it's not geometric. Let's see. When I add, I get plus 3. Um, from 7 to 11 is plus 4, so I can stop there. This is plus 5. So I know it's not arithmetic, nor is it geometric. I, oh, let's see if I answered all parts of the question. Yes, it is. I hope this helps.